Belt number three out there now, Shark, and we've got uh, a young fighter that got a lot of time for him, Peter Bishop Jr. That's him fighting out of the blue corner, trained by his father down there in Hamilton. And his opponent tonight Round is one. a fighter that we haven't seen on the scene for a long time, um, at least three years anyway. I don't, on, he, well, at least four years because that's how long he's been in London. And that's Mike Grizzly Gault. Saw him fight out here uh, before he went over there, but ooh. And he looks fresh. He just got off the plane from London on Tuesday, and he said, yeah, I'll fight at the show. <laughs> so good to see him in here. And uh, one of the best up-and-coming young fighters, I think, that uh, in Peter Bishop Jr. So this is going to be an interesting one. Gulp landing a couple of nice little uh, uppercuts on the inside. Now uh, you can see the excellent condition that Bishop's in. He is. That's something I noticed when he hopped in the ring. You know, he, he's been training hard. Uh, he's looking in great condition. He's not carrying any weight. It's all muscle. So, uh, no, he is. He, real credit. Ooh, chopping down low. Oh, oh, that was good. Oh, look at those body shots coming up high. Follows up with a nice knee. Looking very dangerous here, but midway through round one. Well, at, at the start of the round, oh, one, another one a wee bit low this time. Fanta Adipong in charge of this one. And just giving giving it a little bit of time. Uh, asking, are you okay? And just a, a little word of, word of caution there. Ooh, downstairs, and nice work to the body from Gault, but uh, Bishop comes in over the top. Nice hands, isn't he got strong hands? You can see the reddening around the uh, kidneys, around the stomach there. Lovely timing from Gulp. Comes forward, then tries to chop underneath. But uh, <laughs> I was just about to comment that both timing their front kicks very, very well. Nice round. A lovely round with a lot of skill out there. So we go over to the blue corner. Well, we look over into the corner. Peter Bishop Jr., he's really up on the toe. He, uh, I think he, he sort of started to time things right towards the end of that round and he's ready to go. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's looking really fit and he uh, finished it well, finished round one well. I was going to comment earlier in the in the round, in round number one, that um, Grizzly Gault, he really started the round well, timing everything and had uh, Peter Bishop Jr. on the back foot there for a little bit and it's a good fighter that can change the plan and, and come out. Oh, lovely left hand from Bishop. And then he goes upstairs with the high kick. Lovely knees and quick work. And for a fighter with limited experience, fantastic timing. you just got to be a little bit careful that he doesn't walk into something big because Gault has got the ability to do that. Going into turbocharge, he's... Uh, that'll slow him down a bit. He, uh, just only get a bit of momentum going there. That was a bit unfortunate. Back in they go and Gault trying to go downstairs and work on the legs. Nice looping right hand from him. Bishop ties up. They get into the grapple again. Bishop it just it has got a slight uh, height advantage and uses his range really good. But uh, it, the thing that I've always been uh, amazed with is... Uh, because he, he looks like a long, lanky fighter, but he, he's very good on the inside. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, no, he is. He is very good on the inside. He's a good all-round fighter. You know, he's picking his shots really well. And, uh, oh, yeah. I think Fena's really got to start looking at taking a point off. You know, you get a graze and you feel like crying, let alone three knees, you know. <laughs> yeah, one, you fight through. Two, you grit your teeth and fight through. Three is uh, getting it. And I think that's what Fat Adipong has just said. Any more low blows and uh, be the point off or be disqualified, one or the other. Uh, Fat Adipong, of course, one of our very best refs. I know he's one of your favourite sharks. He is. I, I love how he lets it go in the grapple and lets the guys really... Uh, 
really show their skills. So, uh, yeah, no, I really love when he refs. Oh, some nice combinations coming on there. See, he works down low and chops up high when the guard's off. And finishing strong like he did in round one. Back to the red corner we go. Grizzly Gould, bit of blood coming down, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. <laughs> That's a sign of a fighter. Well, he's been fighting well. He's, he's timing front kicks well. He he's looks dangerous. Um, so don't count him out. Still another round in this fight. Seconds out for third and final round. And as you said, Shark, this man is by no means out of the fight. And uh, Peter Bishop Jr., uh, really on a roll there, and that's when things can go wrong. He can walk into something. I think that he's probably had the training not to do that, but uh, it's too easily to be a bit over exuberant. And if anyone can take the. Uh, he's not scared to throw them up high either, is he? He's, he's uh, you know, he's throwing some great combinations in there and just keeping the pressure up. Well, the good thing about Peter Bishop Jr. is the range from down the, the legs to the top of the head, anything can be thrown and thrown, uh, you know, really efficiently. Mike Gould, he's uh, happy to be back in the country. And he's really neutralising those hands there. He's, he's tying them up in the grapple and really trying to uh, do something there, Fender, giving them a good opportunity to to work their way out. I'm, I'm not really sure how many fights Grizzly Gulk has had, but, um, ooh! That was very close. And I think his leg's starting to get hurt. He's been nailed on that left leg quite a lot. It's I was just going to comment on the experience of Grizzly Gulk, and maybe late in the fight he's found the target. And he's covering it up, it is sore, and he knows it too. He comes in. He got nailed a bit in the... Ooh. Leg. Oh, he's put the count on. This changes the whole complexion of the fight. Uh, looks a little bit bewildered. Oh, hey. lovely left hand. This got come in from Peter Bishop Jr. Well, that changed the whole complexion of the, of the fight. And Yeah, well, he has heard it and he's working it. You see, he knows he's heard it too. Oh. And, uh, and that's the experience we're talking about. Only... Oh. Only one target, and he'll have to get up quickly. There goes the end of the fight, and Grizzly Gould turned things around at the end of it, and they've got a lot of respect for each other, and they deserve to have, because uh, Grizzly Gould took a lot of punishment throughout the fight, found a little chink in the armor right towards the end of the, of the belt, and put, put himself back in, in contention. Yeah, he, he turned it into a... It looked like a, he, he would made the fight messy, but what he was doing was quite smart. He was trying to slow him down. He nailed that leg up uh, through that uh, last round. Now, if that was an eight count, it's going to be interesting to see how they score it. Oh, that could be a draw, it? I, I think this could be another draw. But no matter which way the... Uh the decision goes, we've seen a, a really good belt. And we've seen a, a top young fighter on the way to bigger places, I think. One for Peter Bishop, one for the blue. A draw. Well, one, for, one judge thought that uh, Grizzly Gould finished stronger, and uh, I don't know how he scored the other two. They, they, were, they were at sixes and sevens there, but um, pretty good decision in the end of an eight count against two earlier rounds by Peter Bishop Jr. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I've seen it too. So, uh, <coughs> good fight, but I can't wait to see them fight again.